All right, what is up, YouTube? It's a Frosty Pepsi here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the start menu for, like, the start button for Windows 8. Just follow my step-by-step -step instructions, and this should be a piece of cake. So what you're gonna do is open up Google Chrome. Pretty mandatory. Pretty easy. Wait for that to load. My computer's been running kind of slow today, but that's just fine. So now wait for this to load and go to and type start. Oops, <laughs> I can't type. And just start menu 8. Sorry, I'm trying to type around my microphone because I don't have a proper setup. And you and you guys are probably going to get the start menu 8 CNET thing up here before this. Like, this should be second. But because I've already tried this tutorial multiple times and failed, um, just click on that. And you'll get the free download. It's only four megabytes. You can close out of that one. And you will already see the download. Click the download. And it'll say, thank you for downloading. Give it a minute. And it will, I already have the start menu thing there. So that's why it says one. But it should just say start menu st set up. We can close out of that now wait for that to load do, 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 do. okay it's just gonna load yep so click on next and this is all you really have to do to install it Inst well there is the finish you have to click but finish and now you have the start menu you can just click out of that because it just um opens that up and there's no point in having it there so cool now you have this but if you want to customize it and make it look more of fitted to you in a way you can go into the settings and you can change the um the little icon to like let's say windows 8 hit apply and now you've got that the only reason it's um like doesn't quite fit the bar for me is because I have it on small icons, like the small taskbar buttons, just because it takes up less space on a laptop. So for you guys on like desktops or s and stuff, that it'll fit fine. It looks like it's there. I'm just gonna go classic, hit apply, and it goes back. Now general settings, it's pretty much the same thing. Just deactivate metro sidebar things like um, when you go down the metro screen, a lot of times like the start button that would come up like a little start menu thing and that just kind of by clicking these you can play around with all the little things that pop up now you can go to menu and pick all the little things like that the recorded TV all those little things now you can choose between large font which I don't really like because just kinda gives it this more bulky look or you can go to smaller font and apply and it gives it that smaller looking font which I prefer and you can also change the style to like Windows 7 style just hit apply and now it's kind of a more rounded off sort of edged theme look I don't know <laughs> now I, I prefer Windows 8 for Windows 8 just because it's more of a cornered off look more sharp now you can change the profile picture seeing as how there is no profile picture there even if you have a profile picture so that's pretty much it you guys don't forget to comment rate subscribe um i hope this really helped you you guys if it did help please hit the like button subscribe comment it really helps i will see you guys in my next video bye